So a few minutes ago, I just got hold of the footage, particularly of the Johannesburg gas explosion that we were speaking about yesterday. And I wanted to show you that particular video right now. It is quite telling. And uh, to be honest with you, it does kind of humble you. It just kind of like brings you back to your senses that truly in this day and age, we live completely graced by God. I mean, like this is nothing short of a miracle that this thing it's, it's quite something else. Uh, at the moment, I, I, I haven't really followed up the news too much. I, I try to stay away from the news before I record uh, so that I keep a clear mind while recording and it doesn't affect. Sometimes bad news can really get uh, to some of us. And so it's the reality show with daily Christian commentary videos. And so especially for the early episodes, I try not to watch too much of the news. Now, in this particular video, I'm going to show you that clip and I'm going to highlight on some of the things that we mentioned yesterday that we were not sure of as yet. Now, this is particularly the scene that you're looking at here. And uh, you do see that there was people as I was talking about it yesterday. Now, the footage here, it's very much clear. I think the, the, the company, uh, we do have likely this, the footage of how or when it actually happened. You can see here, there were taxis that were right next to the scene right there. And um, first off, you do see when the explosion actually goes off and people start running there. Uh, this is when you see it. Oh my goodness. The, I mean like the, that's quite shocking, like how far or how high those taxes flew. It flew almost twice the size of the gentleman that was right next to it when you look at it. If you go back to that footage right there, go back to that scene, look at how high this taxi flew above him. He's the, 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 the wheel of the, of the car right there is right over his head and these taxes some of these taxes had people some of these taxes people were just getting off some of these taxes whoo this was this was wild this was not a this was not a joke okay sometimes we see these things or we hear about this thing so um uh, even when you had the the syria thing and all that kind of stuff for us it's just video clips and video clips but when you see it happen in your backyard, when it happens right near your, your home turf, where your family members may be and may be affected by it, that's when the reality sets in. These taxis that were parked here, you can see where my concern was yesterday, which were the taxis that were probably parked right next to it. And you see why my concerns were there is because you can see these taxes are the ones that flew up, okay? This was wild, okay? That's why my concerns were particularly on those particular areas. To say, the, I hope the people that take taxes in that area are fine. And if you know anybody that is particularly who takes a, a taxi in that area, do holler at them or contact them. And so we finally just got the footage of it. I wanted to kind of keep you updated. Uh, if you want to follow the stories, you can follow it up. They're going to probably publish a lot more videos and stuff like that. I still haven't even gone there. It's not that far from me. I still have not even gone there uh, to see like how how it looks. If I do, maybe I'll shoot a video or something or I'll show you the scene of it. But I haven't gone there at the moment. But that video, that video is quite telling. It's scary stuff when you see it. At, at, at first, you know, when you're thinking about, you know, um, when you're thinking about it and it's not people that you know or when you're seeing it on the news and stuff like that, when you see stories like this, you just almost dismiss it. But when people that you might know somebody, where when it's people that you might be close to or a friend of yours might have a relative over there, that's when you really start thinking about it to say, we really truly live another grace of God. That taxi almost went over that guy's head. 
That taxi almost went over that guy's head who was right next to it. And the tires were almost up above his, his head. And it almost takes, the explosion happens. People run off to the side. And then that's when they, it registers what, what happened. That's when people start running. So for some people, it doesn't even register when it happens. They only react after it has happened. So think about it. If you were there or if somebody was there, that's why people, I remember at one point people were disheartened by people saying RIP to so-and-so, uh, which were things that were happening outside the country. And it was mostly political people that were saying, oh yeah, they make you care about things that happen in America and stuff like that. But do the Americans say RIP about the things that happen here? Do they say we are praying for America? You remember the Pan-Africanists were also pushing that idea. This shows you why. This shows you why you don't grow a heart like that towards other people, whether they are from your country or they're not. You grow a heart like that because you've seen, with things like this, you see how wild, even for people that you might know, your concerns go there. You know, you have somebody that works in the taxi industry, your thoughts go there and you're like, I wonder if this is where he works, especially if you're not sure, particularly. These things teach you a caring heart. This is where some people learn a caring heart because a family member, a neighbor was there. But when it's things that are far away, hi, why are you saying RIP to things that are in America? Because you don't feel connected to it. But when it happens next door, when it happens, when the tragedy, when all these earthquakes we see overseas and whatnot, when they happen next door, that's when we remember the rest of humanity. Because we've allowed political topics to cloud our, our judgment of people. So you're not thinking of those people as individuals. But the fact that it's in them, it's in my backyard. The fact that it's like a couple of blocks from me, or it's, it's right here, I can drive and see the site. It humbles you. And sometimes that wake-up call comes at the right time to remind us to care for other people. Because if your heart grows cold towards those people, when it happens in your backyard, then what? Continuously leaning towards Christ. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher, he starts it and he defines the end of it. And so it helps for us to have a point of reference. Now you have a point of reference. Because before you could have said, you could have dismissed it when it happens in other countries. Now you have a point of reference. This stuff is not a joke. You see countries that constantly have tornadoes and whatnot. The last one that happened not long ago in Durban, when the earthquake happened locally in the CBD Joe <laughs> and in the Boxback area and stuff like that, it shakes up people. And that's what you see in the Bible. It says, now I shake up heaven and shake. Because these things, we need a shaking. We need a wake-up call to say. But for some people, it grow, they grow cold. Political reasons for a lot of times. Is these things of color? Oh, yeah, those Americans, they can manage. You know, you don't feel attached to it because they are saying RIP George Floyd or whatever, or they are saying RIP to somebody who's not in your country. You feel like you should be disconnected. Political topics. And I've said, don't allow political topics to overcome your humanity. Hey, Ricky, why do you expose false prophets? Because that person could have been me. If I was there, I would have wanted you to tell me. If it was my family member, I would have told them. The same way, when you are not the one who's there, don't dismiss it because you don't care about it. It's Ricky. I'll see you on a later on episode. Follow the page. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on a later on. Y'all be good.